Hello, welcome to Odenton Christian School training videos. I'm Mr. Enderly, and in this video we will concentrate on interacting with Google Classroom through your phone. So in this demonstration, I'll be using an iPhone. Again, if you're using Android, it's a similar process, except instead of going to the application store, you will be going to the Google Play Store. So let's begin. So what we'll do is we'll go to the App Store. We will search for Google Classroom. And we see the application. It's already installed on the phone, so it says open, but if it wasn't, it would give you the option to download. So now we'll go to the application, hit Classroom. Now, it has already pre-logged us in as my daughter. That's because I've already logged into the application. If this is your first time, it will ask for your Google login, and you put that information in. And once upon putting in, you can continue. You'll see all your uh, assignments that you are currently enrolled in, or classwork, I should say. And you can also view it by hitting the three lines in the upper left and see the same thing. We're going to go into Junior Bible. Now on this screen, we can see uh, stream, classwork, and people. Okay, we can also share something with our class, which we'll demonstrate momentarily. But again, this is the stream. If you ever needed to return, just hit the three arrows in the upper left. And again, you'll see that menu of all the classes. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a comment you can share with the class. If you wanted, you could attach. You can attach from your Google Drive. You can attach a link from your browser. You can use the camera to attach something with your camera, whether it be video or still image. You can upload a file that's on your phone, or you can pick a photo that's already on your phone. Again, this is being done via the stream. So be careful here because if you upload things to the stream, it's for the entire class. This is not technically targeted toward an assignment. It's targeted toward the entire subject in that class. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click the assignment and you can make a class comment here. A class comment, again, is something that the entire class can see. So please be courteous. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit people. These are all your classmates and your teacher. You can email them and they'll open up your email app. In here, under classwork, we can see all our assignments. It's similar to the desktop except condensed. And we can see all the assignments that the student is currently assigned. So what we're going to do is we're going to click reading example, or tap, I should say. Now what you do is you'll see all the instructions. It tells you all the instructions the teacher has put, how many points, you can add a class comment. Again, class comment means all students can see. And at the bottom you can see your work and you can see that it says assigned. You can click or tap that gray arrow and what it will do is it will pull up an option for add attachment or mark is done. So let's demonstrate that now, add attachment, mark is done. You can also tap add private comment and when you tap add private comment what it does is it pulls the whole screen up and you can now type private comments. These go directly to the teacher. Again you still have the options for add attachment mark is done. So we're going to tap the gray arrow and we're going to add an attachment and we're going to select use camera. So with use camera, we will get our shot ready to go. I've paused the video just to demonstrate this a little slower. But as you can see, I've written answers and I've also put the number of the question. So it's questions 25, 26, and 27, and I wrote answers. Students should do this because this way the this teacher, when they look at the image, they can see which question has which answer. So what we will do is we will take the shot. We will say use photo. And what it will do is it will upload. Depending on your connection, will determine how fast this happens. It uploads. And now we can turn in. Yes, we will turn in. And it will turn to turn in. You can unsubmit. The little gray one at the bottom will stay there for a short period of time as you work through the app, just in case you want to unsubmit that uh, work and so we're going to demonstrate that now. So we're going to tap on submit and then submit the work. You would unsubmit if let's say you wanted to change it. Um, if the if the assignment was returned ungraded, 
uh, it will already change to assigned and you wouldn't have to unsubmit. But if it is submitted and you need to make a change or you want to delete the file or you want to add more to it, you unsubmit, do as needed, and then turn back in. You can always add private comments whether it's submitted or not. So we will turn it back in and it will change to turned in. Now again, once you finish, you continue going through your other subjects, doing the same thing all from your phone. Um, again, if it's turned in, the teacher will have received notifications. Uh, if, it's, if they're logged in on their phone, they'll actually receive the notifications via their phone. The teacher can then go in, look at the turned in document or answers, grade, and then return to student. And the student will get a notification that their assignment has been graded. Uh, if you are using it via your phone and your student is logged in, any comments on assignments, assignments given by the teacher, or grades that are given, the phone will actually pop up with notifications if that is turned on, and you will receive all these notifications of everything that's going on via the app on your phone. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. I hope this video helped you in interacting with Google Classroom on your phone. Again, thank you very much for watching.